Hello everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Uh, this is the first non-music related video I've done in a while, but I felt it was a good thing to touch on. Um, the subject of mental health has become a more common talking point, which is a good thing, um, but I feel it's still kind of ignored for the most part by a lot of people. Uh, a lot of things are just like passed off as this is the way life is and people don't, aren't encouraged to, you know, deal with these sort of things. So that's kind of what I want to touch on here. Um, I feel that there's a lot of stuff that is taboo to talk about that shouldn't be taboo to talk about, like feeling depressed or feeling like you need to talk to somebody. And so the first thing I want to touch on is that it's okay to ask for help. It's okay, like on anything, it's okay to feel depressed. We all do, regardless of what people say. Everyone feels that way. We all feel sad. We all feel happy. It, we all feel angry. Like these are normal human emotions and they happen. But it's okay to want to talk to somebody about this. It's okay to ask for help about how you're feeling. Um, if you're struggling in life, either mentally or in any other capacity, like it's okay to ask people like the worst, like if say, say you need help moving something, this is just a, an out there thing. And what's the worst that's gonna happen? Like you ask somebody and they say, no, I'm sorry, I can't. Um, so you ask somebody else. This, it's the same with how you're feeling. Like say, I'm not feeling good today um, and I'm having a really hard time getting through my day. It's okay to want to talk to somebody and it's okay to find somebody to talk to, to tell these things to. Um, it's probably best for like therapists and stuff like that instead of like, but even if it's just a small thing, like talking to somebody at work, talking to a friend, talking to a family member, somebody you know you can go to, like, it's fine. And I know there are some people out there who don't have that many people that they can go to, but there's always, there's always something. There's always, like, there's always a phone number you can call that where people will listen to you. Uh, there's places you can go, stuff like that. So, like, don't feel that you're unable to ask. Don't feel like you're stuck. Like as much as as much as sometimes people feel like they are, you're you're not. There's always a way out. And I'm not talking about uh, like death and stuff like that. I'm talking about like there's always another route you can take. Like regardless of how dire the situation seems. And to that point, the second thing I want to talk about, it's okay to try something and fail. Like I know there's a lot of people who are, and myself included, who do, we look at these obstacles that we put, like I, I have this task I have in front of me and I will continuously look at it and not try and start the task because I'm afraid that I'm going to do it wrong or the end result is going to seem like a failure and I will have wasted my time and then I will feel worse for it. But in reality, that's not the way I should be looking at these things. Um, like pe we fail all the time. Everyone does. Like all these people that you see who have had massive, su massive success in whatever field, whatever, anything, they failed before they did that. Um, any of these star athletes who are out there who are making millions and millions of dollars and you're out there and you're playing basketball on a couple of like strung together hoops in the park and like, like you're comparing yourself to what they're doing, they failed time and time again before they got to where they are. Like, yeah, sure, there's some luck and there's all these other factors that go into it, but everyone fails. Everyone fails at something and it's okay. Like, you, you learn, you learn from your mistakes. If you don't get something right the first time, 
and you're like, okay, I didn't get it right, but I picked up on this, this, and this, and okay, so now if I try and do it again, I'll have learned those things, so I'll know to do them, either don't do them, or do them better. And that's, that's what life is. You stumble through, and you will make mistakes, and you will learn from them most of the time. Um, and yeah, so it's okay for that to happen. And, but just, you can't let it bury you. You can't let it just put you down. You can't, like, and anyone who's going to stand there and tell you that you're worthless or you shouldn't bother trying, don't listen to that person. That person is clearly struggling with something on their own, so they're dealing with their own demons. You need to just focus on what you're doing. Like, just try in everything, all aspects of life, no matter what it is. Just try. Like, if you don't get it right the first time, and you still it's still something you want to do, try again, and again, and again. Fail dozens of times. It's fine. Just keep going. Like, what else? Like, why not? To that degree, if you're not happy in any environment, like, it doesn't matter if you're, it's where you're living, it doesn't matter if it's a relationship you're in, it doesn't matter if it's, and that, that could be boyfriend, girlfriend, it could be just friends, something like that, um, work, um, school. If you're not happy in that environment and you have the option, and I know there's certain circumstances where it's more difficult than others, if you're not happy in that environment, leave. And I know that's easier said than done. I get that. Like, in most situations, like, these things are much easier said than done. But if you're going, if you're in a situation where you're just not happy or miserable day after day after day, and it's not getting better, like, and you're just kind of, you may, maybe you feel slightly better because you've gotten used to it. That's not the way, it's not the way to live. Like, it's not. And I, and some people feel, there's certain situations where people feel they owe it to somebody else. If they're in a bad situation and they're in that bad situation with another person, they're like, well, they did this for me, so I really need to stick it. No. Like, yeah, not, not, I'm not talking about like just, like, say you're dating somebody and you have, like, one fight. That, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about, like, any sort of situation where you are just, you feel beaten down. Um, and you feel, like, hopeless. Or you feel that the, the environment that you're in, the atmosphere of it is, like, suffocating. And you just, you don't feel alive, really, essentially. You don't feel like you're living. Like... Those aren't good environments to be in, and you need to look elsewhere. Like, it, regardless of what it is, like, there's always, there's always somewhere else you can go. Uh, not all options are, like, the, like, most appealing options, but they're better than what you have. Like, you just always seek out to feel better. Like, like, better if you're in a bad situation. Like, don't, don't live like that. It's not good. And I've been in living situations where I dreaded coming home or I didn't like where I was working and it was awful, but I went in day after day and every day I did it, I regretted it. So, and now I'm in a better place. And can I go up? Yes, definitely. But you have to, you have to do it, like, you can't live like that, because it's not living. And to leap on, or jump from that, it's important to not only love the people that you surround yourself with, like your friends, your family, your partners, you have to love yourself, like, that's, that's important. And you have to love yourself for all of your faults, all of your flaws. 
Sure, can you fix stuff about yourself? Definitely. You fix whatever you want. But you can't constantly, like, say you, say you have a weird mole or something. Like, you got a mole on your neck. And you're like, I hate that mole. But that mole, it's part of you. Just like how the rest of you is part of you. Like, if you're, I mean, if you're out of shape, sure, you can get, like, you're like, no, I want to be healthy. I want to get in shape. Great, do that. But if you're content, like, it's okay to be content and happy with how you look, regardless of how you look. Don't tell, don't let anybody else tell you how you should look or dictate how you should appear. Like, we're not all beauty queens. It's not going to happen. Like, I have this weird lip thing. It happens all the time. I don't like it, but it's part of who I am. And I got, uh, it's hidden by my beard. But, uh, like, the butt chin thing, my dad had it too. Like, yeah, sure. And I've had people make fun of me for that. I don't fucking care. Like, it's part of me. I, I um, not going to fucking change it. It's just, it's there. So, yeah, love yourself. And, yes, like, mentally, too, like, it's important. Like, you truly can't love another person until you can love yourself. Like, the, it's it sounds cheesy, but it's true. Like, you need to, like, you need to look within, and you need to be okay with yourself. Like, because like, uh, how else are you supposed to, like, show appreciation to other people if you can't do it to yourself? Um, and to go on to that, uh, give yourself praise for the things you do. Like, there, there are, are there egotistical people in the world? Of course there are. But it's not wrong to, if you do something that you're proud of, be proud of the thing. Show it off. Be like, look at the thing I did. Like, and allow others to praise you like that's that's one of my biggest faults is that I have a really hard time letting people tell me that I did something good and just accepting it. it's weird it, I, I don't know why I have such a hard time with it but I've had a hard time with it for years I've gotten slightly better in recent times um, but for years I would just like I like because I also had the problem where like I was hard on myself and I was very down on myself and then I had to get past that just as the not being happy in a certain environment like you gotta it's you gotta take care of all those things basically you gotta take care of things at home even if home isn't technically like a living area just home in here so allow yourself to feel good about something that you did or something you said or something you're working at or just you, in general, just look inside and feel good about you. But yeah, so those are just some things. But, like, mental health is important. Like, especially with how it's been the last couple of years. Or, I think we're on the year three of this fucking COVID shit. Um, like, it's been hard on a lot of people. So, even at the same time, like, say you're doing okay. There's others who aren't. So, if you see somebody who seems like they're struggling, reach out to them. Like, try to talk to them. Be, be their person to talk to if you feel that you are capable of doing that. Like, if you feel you're available enough and you're doing okay, like, maybe there's somebody around you who's not. So, don't let that person be alone. Like, like help them out um, or show say you have a therapist and or you go to or you do like talk space or any of those things and you can recommend something like that to them it just but yeah just we gotta help each other like it's it's not been a fun time but yeah just move forward look forward and just take care of yourself take care of the ones you love but uh, that's all I really wanted to say. I might do another one of these at some point. 
but I felt these were five good talking points and I wanted to talk for a little bit. So hope you enjoyed it and uh, yeah, take care. And uh, I, I'll actually leave some links in the description below if somebody you know or you are having problems and you maybe you need to talk to somebody or you yeah so I'll leave some links in the description below and you can check those out if you wish to but thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time